So you can see that Sheldon has a baby tooth that never fell out. And it's, it's gonna need to be extracted. Oh, he is not gonna be happy about that. He is gonna freak out about the pain and the needle and the blood. Yeah, I wouldn't mention that stuff when you tell him. Can't you tell him? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him. But you're his doctor. And you're his mommy. Which means that I have to deal with him all the time. Help me out here. No. Can we tell him together? No. <sighs> all right. What if I put your business card free of charge in the next church newsletter? So, Sheldon, a little bit of dental news. You have a baby tooth that never fell out. Neat. Even my teeth are stubborn. Anyway, in order for your teeth to come in straight, Dr. Bowers is going to need to pull it out. Why didn't I hear this from him? I had the same question. Will there be blood? A little. Will there be a needle? Maybe, but you won't feel it because he's going to put you under first. Put me under? With drugs? That's even more dangerous. Stop enjoying this. Sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Now, uh, Sheldon, what can I do for you? Do you have any books or videos on the Lamaze technique? Uh-oh. Georgie, get that girl pregnant? It's for me. I need to have a tooth pulled, and I'd like to do it without putting my brain on drugs. Since this is a high school, we don't have material about giving birth on the shelves. But... Since this is a high school, I keep a few things here under the counter. Excellent. And I'll let my brother know in case he gets himself in a pickle. You're having a tooth pulled. I'm not having a baby. If it can work for getting an eight pound human through a birth canal, it can work for a tiny tooth. Eight pounds? I'm never having kids. Fun fact, she ended up having four. And if I do, I'm taking any drugs they'll give me. That part was true. Okay, Sheldon, you ready? Not really. Yeah, that makes two of us. Why don't you guys come on back? You know what? I'm just gonna stay here. Um, you don't need me getting in your way. Well, it's no trouble at all. Come on. I've got my crochet. You're coming. Fine. You don't need to worry about needles, because we're gonna put you under for the procedure. No, thank you. There are risks associated with anesthesia. Just so you know. I'm going to be using this. Drugs, please. Okay, Sheldon, we're going to put the mask on. Now, you just breathe normally and count back from 100. But counting back from 100 isn't complex enough to occupy my mind. You're up, you down. Why don't you think of something more sciencey, Like counting pie. That's a thing, right? Pie? I can't count pi, it's an irrational number. But I can embrace the spirit of your proposal and calculate the matrix coefficients necessary for a unified field theory. Do that, hit it. Of the four fundamental four duty, because... Oh, thank God. Step right up for your chance to meet the Egyptian god of knowledge. He has all the answers. Do you have a question you'd like to pose? I do, but nobody in the history of science has ever been able to answer it. Well, they haven't asked the great god far right this way. Ask your question. Do you really possess all knowledge? You only get one question, kid. You want that to be it? Oh, no. How can I unify the four fundamental forces of the universe? Now we're talking. In order to unify gravity, you must first understand that it is a distortion of space-time. Gravity, of course. <sighs> Even talks in his sleep. Why am I not surprised? Where am I? Oh, you died. You're a ghost now. 